All right, we got another ultra hard guide coming at you. This one's a little bit different. It's not going to be one of the big bosses. It's going to be one of the littler challenges. But honestly, it took me a couple of tries to do this. So I figured I'd make a video because why not? I've been making these damn videos even though nobody's watching them. We're going to keep it real simple. It's like popping a pimple. All right, here's what you're going to do. You're going to make some advanced elite traps. If you don't have the recipe for this one, go out to a freaking wiki and find anywhere you can find this trap because once you build a couple of these it just takes a couple of shards a couple of uh, volatile sludge which you'll probably have a lot of by now if you're this you're this part in the campaign you make these elite traps dude they freaking hit flat out 750 damage and if you invested a little bit into the trap tree you could freaking you know build those things really fast and have them explode and then if it, even if they explode on you it's just a little splash damage just keep spamming that heal button keep recharging your goddamn berries so here's what i do i basically jump up in there i go right to the cell snapper if i try i try killing the bellow backs first and then they don't give you enough time they only give you two minutes it's really kind of a joke like how much time they give you in these challenges they really want it to be that difficult all right and the second bet the second thing you have to do is get the sharp shot bow um whatever sharp shot bow you want to use i don't think it really matters like the stats on it because what we're we doing we're using the action skill we're using um explosive shot which does like a flat like 660 damage if you hit a critical spot you might be here doing 750 it's going to explode these sacks almost on the first shot so basically that's one easy way to take these bellow backs out you basically just blow up both their sacks and if they're all grouped together even better you're going to do it faster because that damage is going to spread and after you blow up their sacks you want to hit them in their little spark coils with any type of spark weapon you have just to kind of get rid of them. You want to hit all three because there's a chance that this big bastard might actually get in the way of that and you know he might take some of that damage too. But yeah my main focus was the big guy but then when he goes on the ground obviously you gotta you gotta shift your focus you gotta do aggro on something else. And then after you wow you notice that he has these really small ice sacks underneath him. If you explode those he gets into frost mode and you know me I like putting the motherfuckers into brutal state because once they're in brutal state all the damage you do is pretty much doubled it's, it's crazy so I'm just pretty much just spamming whatever I can right now basically all you want to have in your item bar you want to have those elite traps if you could find them try your best to get them and a bunch of stamina potions because you just want to keep spamming that R1 move and luckily I have about eight seconds left here one trap left and this motherfucker decides to just run into it and basically suicide bomb himself and the damn turtle and basically just won the match for me. This was the easiest way I found to do it. I mean, I, I probably only tried like maybe like five times. I got this one pretty easy, but it was it was pretty difficult. Like, I had to really do some thinking. But, you know, basically just spam all your strongest stuff, all your explosives, and pretty much get rid of those sacks. Don't use the freaking, the barrels. They have like a little trap up there. Don't even use that. It doesn't do, it does little to no damage whatsoever. Just get up in there. Get get that freaking shell snapper. You bomb him. You blow up his ice sacks. You try to get him as early as possible. Obviously, he's going to go on the ground. You can't do nothing about that. When he's doing that, you focus the other two. Keep rolling. Keep healing. And just keep spamming your explosives. Keep refilling your stamina bar. And keep hitting them with that explosive shot. You're going to get it eventually. If you're a high enough level. By the, I'm level 40 right now. Um, you could probably do this at like level 35. Just make sure you're healing yourself. It's not too difficult, but you know, it merits a video because it was some variation of difficulty there, even though you could use your own loadout. Obviously, you could just get the OP loadout and come back and do this at the end game, but that's no fun. You want to challenge yourself. With that, I leave you.